Our group has recently described a novel technique of single-site robotic myomectomy. This procedure is the first to employ the Da Vinci SI surgical system with its dedicated single-site port, curved instrument cannulae, and wristed instrumentation. This video provides a step-by-step -step description of our published technique. Compared to standard laparoscopic surgery, single-site laparoscopy can provide a better cosmetic outcome and a reduced potential for postoperative pain, abdominal wall vessel and nerve injury, and hernia formation in appropriately selected patients. However, randomized studies comparing single-site laparoscopy to multiport laparoscopy are still lacking. Moreover, due to the need to insert several instruments through a single fulcrum, this modality of minimal invasive surgery presents unique and severe ergonomic challenges. Robotic assistance has been shown to decrease the ergonomic challenge of single-site laparoscopy and shorten its learning curve, this technology can be utilized by robotically trained reproductive surgeons as a realistic option for minimally invasive myomectomy. We currently offer this technique to a select number of patients based on their tumor size and number and their umbilical anatomy. All of our patients considering minimally invasive myomectomy undergo preoperative MRI to rule out adenomyosis and to obtain detailed myoma mapping. Patients with one or two dominant fibroids under 8 cm and a total tumor load of less than 10 fibroids are ideal candidates. This procedure requires the following equipment. The Da Vinci single side surgical platform for the Da Vinci SI surgical system with wristed needle drivers, an 8 mm assistant cannula for conventional laparoscopic instruments, and a 2 mm flexible CO2 laser fiber. After ensuing feasibility of the procedure, through an initial laparoscopic survey of the pelvis, the umbilical incision is extended to 2.5 cm. The multi-channel single port silicone device is inserted. The robotic system patient side cart is then positioned centrally between the patient legs and docked at the camera port. The two curved 5 mm cannulas are introduced into dedicated channels under direct visualization. The assistant cannula is positioned at the same time. The dedicated semi-rigid instruments, in our case two wristed needle drivers, are inserted under laparoscopic guidance. Dilute vasopressin is injected into the myometrium under direct visualization. The laser fiber is introduced through the assistant port and securely grasped and controlled by one of the needle drivers. Depending on the tumor location, a transverse longitudinal or elliptical incision is made on the myoma, and the dissection is carried out until the plane between the tumor pseudocapsule and the myoma is reached. The fibroid is then readily enucleated with steady traction from a 5 mm tenaculum from the assistant port and gentle dissection and counter traction with the robotic instruments. We utilize a unidirectional barb monofilament suture each uterine incision is repaired in multiple layers as per standard microsurgical technique. Once the robot is undocked, 
the single side silicon port is removed from the umbilical incision. A flexible self-retaining retractor is then secured within the umbilical incision and an endoscopic specimen extraction pouch is introduced through the retractor and into the abdomen. The operating table that is kept at a 20 degree Trendelenburg angle from most of this operation is now returned to a flat position. The last portion of this technique involves a brief conventional single side laparoscopic step. A dedicated gel cap with three instrument channels is secured over the self-retaining retractor. The specimen is carefully placed within the endoscopic pouch and the edges of the bag are brought up through the incision. The retractor is removed and then placed inside the bag for improved exposure and wound protection. Using traction, the specimen is brought to the level of the incision and is scored out sharply with a scalpel. Once the specimen is extracted and the retractor is removed, the fascia is repaired in a running fashion with delayed absorbable suture and the umbilicus is reconstructed in two layers following basic plastic surgery technique. In well-selected patients, the end result is a hidden scar within the umbilicus. In conclusion, robotic single-site myomectomy with the use of wristed semi-rigid instrumentation is a feasible procedure. Indications, safety and use of the technique will be confirmed by growing experience.